ESLAMABAD, Iran The opening of the new wing of the Imam Khomeini Hospital last year was a big deal in this provincial Iranian town. The health minister cut a red ribbon, and VIP. Guests smiled as state television recorded the entire event. More than 100 beds were added in a $15 million construction project that had taken more than eight years to complete and had made the hospital the largest in the region. We were so proud, said Reza Naduri, one of the managers. But during the 32nd earthquake on Sunday, the new wing partly crumpled like an empty soft drink can in the hands of a child. The original hospital building, 40 years old, stood beside the wreckage, barely damaged. The magnitude 7.3 earthquake killed more than 500 people in Iran and 8 in neighboring Iraq. More than 40,000 properties became uninhabitable, officials say, including many newly built state hospitals, schools, apartment complexes, and even army barracks. It is unclear how many people died in collapsed government buildings. The earthquake has laid bare what many Iranians have been saying for a long time, corruption inside state organizations has led to shoddy construction work and undermined Iran's infrastructure. Building permits can be bought, developers are allowed to economize on safety regulations and some quality control inspectors make more of their living from bribes than salaries, insiders say. One outcome has been a sharp increase in industrial accidents in recent years. Dozens of gas transportation pipes have exploded and several refineries have caught fire. This year, a poorly maintained high-rise building in the center of Tehran burned and collapsed, leaving 20 firefighters dead. Home to dozens of textile shops and storage spaces, the building did not have a sprinkler system. A government report concluded that the religious foundation that owned the building had not done proper upkeep and that government agencies had failed to enforce 22 national building regulations. No one was punished. President Hassan Rouhani on Tuesday visited Sarpoli Zahab, one of the cities hit worst by the earthquake. In front of rows of partly collapsed apartment buildings for the poor, built under his predecessor and political rival, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, Mr. Rouhani called for an investigation into the quality of government construction projects. Standing through the sunroof of his car, surrounded by angry local residents, Mr. Rouhani also talked about the Imam Khomeini Hospital, where the old and the new had stood side by side before the tremor struck. Look, there are two buildings, one of the buildings, which was constructed by government contractors, and you can see the other building built by people, by individuals, and they still stand, he said. We should find the culprits and people are waiting for us to introduce the culprits. We will do that, we will do that. Housing and other projects for the disadvantaged have been built nationwide and represent just a fraction of construction involving the state. Outside Tehran, in the city of Bumhan, around 40 high-rises have been erected on the flanks of a mountain, vexed by all sorts of construction issues. Analysts say the root problem is widespread corruption.